Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is the God King's Warfare at the Dawn of Civilization, 1500 to 1250 BC from Compass Games. This is my friend's game. He let me borrow it so I could uh, do an unboxing of it and see the components and show it to everyone. So let's see if we can figure out what this is about. I haven't even looked through it yet. The God Kings is a multiplayer card-driven game spanning three centuries of warfare. The kingdoms of Egypt Kassite, Babylonia, Hadi, Mitanni, and Assyria wage an epic war over centuries in the cradle of civilization for the right to establish the absolute domination of their god king. Ancient leaders such as Ramses II, Hatshepsut, I can't pronounce these, but I'll try anyways, Supul, whatever, I can't pronounce it, and Muwali, will, Muwali II will rise and fall as they build their empires. Ultimately, only one shall rise. The player who establishes the greatest empire who can dominate rich tribes paying provinces while defeating rampage, rampaging barbarians and rival nations shall be God King. All right. Says it's complexity of somewhere in the middle, somewhere between 1 and 10, a little bit closer to 6. Playing time less than an hour, 500 pieces, playing map a 22 by 34 inch map, solitaire rating low. All right. Let's take a look and see what's in here. Looks like it's got a lot of cards first off. Demonic Invocations. Whoever plays this against suffers a negative one die roll modifier. I'm not going to show all the cards. It'll take forever. Wrath of a Sir, an army of your choice, but not one of your own, suffers attrition immediately. Summoning of Enlil, a player of your choice, must randomly discard one of his cards. And hasty retreat. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Like I said, I'm not going to show them all. Let's but I'll go through some of them. Charge contained. You suffer a a die roll modifier of plus one to the charge roll. Armageddon. Battle continues. Play after the resolution of a battle, but before retreat has taken pl place, immediately conduct a new battle between the same armies. King of the Four Worlds regions, if you control the provinces of Sumer, Murray, and Assyria, you gain three victory points. All right, we get the idea with the cards. Let's see what else is in here. It's got a little dice. This is, I don't think this uh, tr counter tray came with. This looks like one of the ones I sold them. Uh, he's got some of the counters in here. Yeah, the artwork looks all right on them. I'm sure there's more counters in here beneath. Let's look at this player's aid. Kingdoms of Assyria. This is more like a player uh, player board, you would call it. Chart for victory points. Put your available, char available chariot units, destroyed warrior units, and general holding box. And here's one for Hadi. And here's one for the Kingdom of Egypt. Cool. If I try, if I'll see if uh, he'll let me try this game sometime. Uh, I'd like to play the Egyptians. Let's look at the map. Map looks nice. Let's see if I can get it open. It's got an interesting material. It's kind of like a vinyl, I guess you would call it. That seems to be good material. Let me see if I can raise this up a little so you can see it a little better. All right, let's go over here. Oh, there's my little dog over there. <laughs> Uh, battle table here, which looks like uh, some kind of combat results table or something. Siege table, number of rounds, and it's got something about the modifiers and stuff there. Looks like a point-to-point -point map. There's a battle die roll modifier table. Map key, turn order record, and then there's a succession, succession chart. Interesting map, I like it. See what else is included in this game. Here's the rule book. Let's go through this. Looks like it's 24 pages. Looks like it's in black and white. Yeah, going over the player mats there and then going over the game components. All right, here's the sequence of play. There's a deal strategy cards phase and then re reinforcement phase, which you skip on the first turn of all scenarios. 
and a strategy phase. And it looks like there's a fur there's a in each round there's impulses. Looks like there's five rounds in, in each round that uh, each uh, player gets an impulse. Okay. And then a neutral nations round and then there's a victory phase. And here it's talking about reinforcements. Talking about the strategy cards and stacking. There's no limit to the number of units that can be stacked in the space. However, there are limits to how many units a general may move or command in battle. Okay. It's going over reaction now. Combining armies, dividing armies, displacing generals, walled cities, and movement. Naval movement. Here's a reaction called interception. Here's another reaction called Avoid Battle and Pursuit. Interesting. And now it's going over battles. Here it's talking about the battle table. And retreats and walled cities and sieges. And going over kings and successors. And barbarian invasions. That's cool. And revolts. And then here it's going into the victory phase in detail. Looks like there's a sudden death victory also. And at the end of the, if there isn't a sudden death victory and it goes to the end of the scenario, it's won by victory points. All right. And on the back, it's got the sequence of play print, printed again. And here's a playbook. This should have, I assume this is all the scenarios and stuff. So it starts with game setup and then goes into the scenarios. First scenario is the Battle of Kadesh. Second is the Assyrio-Babylonian Wars. Third is the Napoleon of Antiquity uh, campaigns of Tutmos III. Interesting. And the fifth is the campaign game. And it's got some examples of play here too. That's good. Make it a little bit easier to learn the game. Maybe, yeah. Very cool. All right, and it's got the sequence of play on the back of this one too. So one player can use the back of the rule book to follow the sequence of, the of play and the other player can use the back of the playbook for that. And here's some more counters. Yeah, they look pretty good. See what else we got here. A lot of blank counters too. Here's Libya. And some more counters here. And looks like what do we have here? Oh, some more battle boards. Kingdom of Kassite Babylonia. Looks like we got another one down here. Who's this? Kingdom of Mitanni. And last thing here. Here's some errata. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've played this game, definitely uh, chime in and tell us how you liked it. And if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't heard yet, I am selling used games on my website. There'll be a link in the description for this video with a, a URL you can click on to go view the used games I'm selling. Have a good evening.